Today let's take a look at how to cork your wine once it's all done in primary and secondary and polishing and racking and all that stuff. I'll show you what I do. Assuming you already have a corker, if you don't, I strongly recommend you to get a floor version corker. You don't have to buy them brand new and even if you do, they're not that much more money than the old handheld versions. And, and how do they make corking wine bottles easy? Grab however many corks you're going to use, throw them into a bowl of sanitization solution and uh, let them sit for about 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, somewhere in that vicinity. I also recommend that you put a towel down. I folded a double layer towel and that's where my corker is sitting on just to protect the floor because I do like to do this in my kitchen and I don't want that bare metal on my tile floor. Now, once your corks are done soaking, this process is pretty easy. Just take your wine bottle, push down on the spring-loaded bottle holder, I guess you would call it, and put the top into the little holder. Then take your cork, pop that in the top, and then with one pull down of the lever, you will need to pull down pretty firmly on this, but one pull down of the lever, making sure that the metal piece here goes completely flush to get that cork all the way in, and you're done. Now you'll want to make sure that that cork is just barely under flush and as you can see that this is an empty bottle, there is no wine in there. Take a look at what it looks like and then adjust it if needed before you get on with your main batch. Adjustment is super easy. You just take this little nut here and you turn it. Either way, uh, the more of the shaft that you expose, the farther the cork is going to go down into the bottle. If you do find that this turns too easy you can put a dab of loctite on there and that'll secure that up for you so it's not dancing while you're using the corker oh and don't worry about the loctite making that impossible to move it's just going to prevent it from wandering as we're corking a bunch of bottles oh i almost forgot to mention leave your corked wine bottles upright for two to three days just to let those corks expand before you put them on the horizontal plane or in your wine rack for storage just to make sure that they don't leak Hopefully that helps everybody here get started. I was a little intimidated by using this corker. It really is a piece of cake. I did try to film the video and do it one-handed. Uh, it was quite an experience for me. Hopefully I managed to capture what you guys needed to see. Uh, if you do like content like this, there's more coming up on the channel. If you also do want to learn how to put the caps on, I found a really easy method to use for that. I'll put that uh, link up in the side as soon as that video is done.